back to Colonial Sports Center. And now the thing that I've been talking about all the way up to this point, I get to sit down with Adam Maluso, Logan Carney, and John Hanna. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us tonight. Of course, thanks for having us. Yep. All right, so why don't we start off with a little bit of football. You guys each have your predictions and how you guys feel about the season so far. So, Adam, why don't you start us off and tell us what you think is going to happen the rest of the year. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb. I know the Colonials were picked you know, dead last to finish in the NEC, but I personally think they're going to finish fourth. I think that there's three teams, really, that you cannot touch in the NEC right now, even with an overall record in conference play not having started for RMU. That's Central Connecticut, Duquesne, and Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart is a bit of a shock to me. They're starting off 2-0, and oh, and Duquesne's as good as we thought they were going to be. They're 3-1. and one. But I think that RMU's just going to get a couple breaks when it comes to playing a couple key teams. One is Wagner and St. Francis, but essentially it's a four-way tie between Central Connecticut State, RMU, uh, SFU, and Wagner with a bolt that all have one and two records. So I think that's a little bit crazy right now. Central Connecticut, I definitely think, will put itself apart from the pack. But those three, I think with SFU and Wagner not being so hot, you're going to get an RMU fourth place football finish for the new colonial culture. And Logan, you kind of look like you agree with a couple of things Adam just said. I mean, it's a, a couple, I agree with a lot of things. It's, it's, I have four teams really that, you know, that I think are untouchable. Um, like you said, Duquesne, Central Connecticut, who returns most more offensive starters than any other team in the league, and they or conference, and they went undefeated in conference play last year. Duquesne, you know, one of the better teams, 24th in FCS for offense last year, 42nd FCS, and they also return a good core for their players. And then Bryant, who has a phenomenal offense, but a little bit of a shaky defense, but a phenomenal offense, led by Price Wilson, great quarterback. But I also put St. Francis as sort of an untouchable team in that group of four. St. Francis defense, you know, last year, again, I like to use last year's stats because conference season hasn't started yet. 14.6 uh, points per game allowed their defense, which was fifth in all of the FCS football. Now that they, they lost a bit, so it's not like they're going to be just as good this year. But the offensive line, um, very, very talented. Their offensive numbers can improve. And I think really that's why I have Rob Moore six. Those top four, I think, are kind of untouchable. Now, John, why don't you tell us what you think about how football is going to do? Uh, I have the Colonials finishing fifth this year because I just think that uh, their offensive line, they have one of the best rushing offenses in the league right now. And also, uh, Jimmy Walker has been sacked only two times, which is uh, one of the lowest amount in the league. And then I agree with uh, uh, them that uh, Bryant, Central Connecticut, and Duquesne are some of the untouchable teams in the league. Absolutely. So, gentlemen, why don't we skip over soccer here and jump right into volleyball. What do you guys think is going to happen? John, why don't we start down here with you this time? All right. Well, I believe that volleyball will uh, finish first. They're currently third with a, uh, what is, or they've won six out of eight, and they've won, uh, or they're one of the six out of their past eight, and they're really starting to hit their stride. As you mentioned earlier, they uh, went two and three in the uh, Sheridan Invitational, and uh their top three team overall in both hitting percentage, their opponent hitting percentage, and all their service aces. Absolutely. Now, Logan, I know you're a big stats guy. What do you have on women's volleyball? You know, I, I, I kind of like the three players, you know, last year with over 200 kills, and all three of them are back. Um, and Emma Granger, of course, you know, she, she, she recently, she started off the season um, a little bit, you know, flustering. That's one of the big reasons why they started off 0-6. But since then, you know, the team's 6-2 and two in their last eight games. Um, Emma Granger, you know, certainly getting back, you know, uh, John brought up hitting percentage. Emma Granger, fifth in the conference in hitting percentage so far in this. And uh, Maria Alfano, tenth in the conference. They have a, a good core of players that are young. And I have them winning. You know, I, I said they win it this year, last year, and I have them winning it this year again. Absolutely. Now, Adam, I know you always have a good opinion, so why don't you tell us what you think? Well, I'm actually going to say that I think women's volleyball is just going to finish second this year. And now, I'm not going to, don't get me wrong, I like where Emma Granger is, you know, some of these players have really great attack totals, she has 40, uh, 40, or I'm sorry, 44, or 65, uh, 127 kills, and you take a look, Allison Londot is another one that I really think is good with 131 kills, and then Taylor Lord with 88, however, I think there's one team that the uh, Colonials will not be able to overcome. That team is Bryant. They have a really good start right now, and I think that they are 9-7 and seven right now. I think that they can eke out a win, but I think it's going to be competitive. Don't get me wrong, I think it's going to be competitive, but the Colonials will just fall a little bit short. Bryant, I say, claims the title this year. 
And in all reality, it's kind of exciting to see what you guys think because you guys are our analysts and you guys love the stats and everything else. But I know for football, there's a couple things I'd like to say real quick. For football, Robert Morris has had trouble beating them on the road. They're very, very weak on the road, in my opinion. And there's, it is nice to see a lot of talent returning for volleyball. So it's kind of, it's kind of exciting to see how that all goes in all reality.